What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda, if you're gonna add a vertical foregrip, you might as well get one with a flashlight. At least that's what I was thinking. So I got this from SME. It's a vertical foregrip, which is are absolutely fantastic for uh, staying in control. And uh, a lot of guys are looking to add a light, especially if you need it for CQB or self-defense or something like that. And that's probably the one thing that you really, really want to have. And so I picked this up because it's like a two-in-one. So here is the VFG. Looks like it comes with two CR123A batteries. It does indeed, 1300 milliamp hours. So these are nice and long lasting. And then here is the grip itself, which is pretty nice. It is this matte black anodized aluminum finish. It has some weight, but it's not heavy by any means, but it's um, definitely, you know, massive in some ways. I could probably beat someone up with this thing. You can see here, um, screw here to tighten it down on your Picatinny rail couple of holes there to lighten it up. We even have some serrations on the side here. Uh, you can see the uh, kind of slightly dimpled reflector in there, crown on the top, and uh, knurling, which matches down here. A couple of side cuts so that you can get your fingers around it. And then a large Phillips head, so you can use a coin to open up this bottom, but I think should be able to twist off SME emblazoned on the side there. O-ring right here. And then you put these suckers, and I think, I don't see a battery indicator, but I think you put positive up like that. Then screw the sucker back down and it's already flashing. So I know the button has been hit. And then if I tighten this all back down, the nice thing is it's such a nice big grip. And because it's metal, I don't have to worry about it like you do on some polymer under, you know, heavy workload or something snapping off. And it's just a lot longer than some of the other polymer ones. But the nice thing is here, you don't need a pressure plate to run an auxiliary light, you just hit this button and boom, super bright, white light, and goes, switches between full bright and strobe. So you wanna remember what one you were on last because it's gonna to go to the other one. And then if I'm on, I think I can half press to go between modes, just like that. Pretty awesome. This thing is wicked cool. And I think it's just gonna check the box for a lot of what you need. You know, you're going to want to be able to control it, put that VFG on there, but then put a light. You don't have to think about how you're going to wire all that up. It's a nice small footprint for doing everything you need. So check it out. I will put a link to this one in the description below. Peter, my hand out.